quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. Welcome collectors! Today we're looking at the Film Vault's limited edition presentation of Blade Runner here. The final cut. And hopefully this is the final cut out of your pockets for collectors who've been looking to buy the final cut edition of this film. If you haven't watched Ridley Scott's visually stunning 1982 sci-fi film starring Harrison Ford, then this is the time to add it to your media archive. Great movie. It's adapted from Philip K. Dick's 1968 novel. This collected edition's newly commissioned artwork is by Mac Ferguson, which looks great. The outer case is uh, protected by this transparent sleeve, which is always a plus. I love when distributors give us this protection. For example, Mondo Steelbooks tend to include similar case protections. This opens and closes with a magnetic clasp and uh, it feels pretty sturdy. Inside here we have a digipack. And here we have our 4K Ultra HD disc and Blu-ray copy of the film. Now, if you don't have a 4K player yet, you're not missing out. This is another plus. It's important distributors acknowledge that people have been collecting Blu-ray discs for a, a long time. And not all of us switch or own a 4K player. Plus, if you want to watch the film at a friend's or family's house or in another room that doesn't have a 4K player or take it with you on the go, more is always better. And including a digital code to watch or having a Blu-ray copy always gets extra points. Included is this numbered crystal display plaque. It's cool and it can be left in the box or placed in your office or movie room. I'd prefer a replica LAPD badge or a full-size poster or even a smaller size reprint of the movie adaption comic. There's definitely better choices in my opinion. As an illustrator and a designer myself, I can be real critical on supplemental materials these sets include, but I'll let you decide. Let's take a look at this included envelope. We get an array of cards, some concept drawings, poster art, behind the scenes and film trivia, all nice for your library or tabletop talk when watching this film. Now, another thing we get here is this A3 splinter blueprint, which could be something cool to frame in your, in your theater room or put it in your movie room or your office or library. Now the final cut is considered the best cut and most complete version approved by Scott himself. And this edition is for those who don't want or care for the other 152 versions of the film. Actually there's seven versions, but uh, all in all. Final thoughts. You get an introduction by Ridley Scott. You get three commentaries, including one by Scott. Not including the making of the documentary, featurettes and interviews already included in other sets loses a couple of popcorns. Although this collector's edition is for the final cut, would it be the final version to buy? I don't know. If a set is later released with everything here, plus the documentaries, the featurettes, the storyboards, original poster, and the original soundtrack, then that would be the ultimate version. But we don't know if that'll happen. So right now, this is a beautiful addition to add to your collection. I give it four kernels and I would say definitely buy it, mostly if you don't already own the 30th anniversary edition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please like, request a review, 
comment and subscribe and I will continue bringing you the best out there. Popcorn preaching.